You know, Batman to me is probably the very first modern superhero. Uh, he was created back in 1939, but if you look at his costume, the name, his whole premise, very modern, it's very believable. Batman just has the symbol, and to me that's a very modern take on a costume back in that day. He can definitely get out there and fight, but he's a leader and a mentor more so than that. That's what Batman does in our game. He works with the player to teach them how to fight crime and fight Brainiac and like that. Alternatively, if you're a villain, he's gonna come beat you up sooner or later, so watch out. He's really rooted in a modern sensibility in that he's essentially the champion of the city and he's the guardian against all the uh, evil that comes about. We had to capture the essence of these characters and that might have been from different time frames of the comics in relation to each other. It was a tough thing for us too because at the time in the comics what was being paralleled during our development of the game where we knew we had to have Batman, you can't do a DC Comics game, an MMO like this, especially where you have uh, you're gonna have legendary mentors and not have Batman, and Bruce Wayne had to be Batman. But in the comics at the time, Bruce was dead. Dick Grayson was subbing in at the time, and we're scratching our heads going, can we do that? It was like, no, we can't do that. As cool as Dick was, as, you know, stepping into the cape and cowl while Bruce was gone, there was no way we couldn't have Bruce as Batman. We pulled the best moments from all these different interpretations of the characters and put them together in one coherent universe. And so, in a way, you're playing sort of the best of, the, the greatest hits of the DC universe in this game. To me, as a creator, I mean, it's a real honor to be part of that uh, legacy. I know the, the Batman we went with was definitely, you know, part of Jim's vision, a very quintessential and very popular version of Batman. Um, he looks a lot like he did in the Hush, Hush books, which is one of my favorite titles. The Batman I, I, I drew in Batman Hush, and uh, that was the principal kind of look of Batman that we try to incorporate into the game itself was a mishmash of a, a number of different Batmen, you know, Batmans, uh, that I, you know, read as a kid. We knew for our players and our fans that were coming to the game, they would want to see something that was classic, that was absolutely going to be the, you know, perfect ideal version to as many people as possible of that character. I know the atmosphere was really important when we were developing Gotham, and we basically settled on, well, it's going to be a pretty dark, pretty spooky place, and this is a place filled with crime, so we populated the city with criminals encounters that heroes or villains could partake in, depending on which side you want to be on. It's got the bat signal always going up in the sky because there's always some kind of crisis going on there right now. Gotham City really embodies corruption and in a way decay. It's really something that needs to be saved because it is so damaged. You measure a hero by the villains he has to take on and if Gotham is this seedy capital of crime, of corruption, it just shows all the work that Batman has to do. It's always nighttime in Gotham in our game, which gives it that kind of feel like you're stepping out of the shadows, like you're the Dark Knight himself going from rooftop to rooftop and gliding alongside the skyscrapers. It was really great that we were able to get Kevin Conroy to reprise the role as Batman. So Kevin Conroy um, came into the role of Batman and for the first time presented this person who was completely unflappable. He had steel behind him, he was serious, he was driven, he was determined. Without discipline, all is chaos. Criminals are cowardly, superstitious, weak. It's this sort of tone that he has and how he does his delivery where there's always this calmness to it. He's, he's an amazing Batman, possibly the one true Batman. <laughs> I'm Kevin Conroy, I do the voice of Batman. Nothing can be allowed to threaten this fight. Not even the Joker. He brings the acting into it, and he does it in very subtle ways that I think guys like me can't fully uh, comprehend, but fully appreciate and, and enjoy. He's saying the Joker's attack here is just a diversion. But from what? There's a second set of coordinates. I'm sending them to your map now. Celebrating Batman's 75th birthday, or his anniversary, I think is, um, it shows the power of the character. It shows the power of of ideas and how they can stay contemporary and modern throughout seven plus decades. It, you know, it really speaks to the appeal of a character like this where, you know, he's got no superpowers and he's able to reach his full potential just based on sheer determination.